Alrighty. Well, as you could well imagine, it's me again because you know what channel you're on. Ooh, look at some ducks flying overhead. And of course, I'm using my signature dark as hell format. <laughs> Just thinking about old Elbus. Good blobby. I mean, who needs to watch Jerry Springer when you got a dickhead like this? Fucking hell. You know, they, they, what they should do, that's how you can make money. He's fucking a lightning in the distance, too. He's, um, don't worry about Maury Povick. Don't worry about friggin' Jerry Springer, Rich. I think Jerry Springer's long since retired anyway. But those of you who lived through the 90s well remember all that. You know, <laughs> look after yourself and each other at the end of every show. And, and you sit there and you go, holy fucking cow, this dude's telling them to look after themselves and each other. Well, they didn't do any of those things. Every single fucking guest that come on. <laughs> you know. But anyway, that's the, the real entertainment factor. You know, and, and let's face it, like... There's people like that here in Australia that I could meet. Um, there'd be a bit of effort for me to find them. And, you know, some of the characters he's uh, shown on his channel, different random weirdos he's met and stuff. Um, let's put it like this. I can watch from the comfort of my own armchair without having my wallet swiped every fucking week if I knew people like that in person. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? This is a safety factor. You know, you don't have to get, uh, you know, your wallet nicked every week, but you can still experience wackos like that. By hell, this lightning's getting going. I don't think you can see it, but it's off in the distance. It's, um... <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm still of the idea that... Uh, He'd make a great salesman. We'll get to that in a second. What the fuck's this stuff with Rosie? Oh, e begging. You know. <laughs> Don't hate the players, hate the game. Oh, fuck me. What? The players are what makes the game exist. You know, don't hate the players, hate the game. That is as stupid as going and getting, you know, getting a knife and stabbing a football and saying, there you go. Suck shit, you guys. You can't play football anymore. I hate football and I've finished it because I've stabbed the ball. Well, the players are still there. What they've got to do is go get another fucking $15 Chinese-made ball and the game's going again and they're back at it again because the players, you know... I mean, don't take it out on the fucking ball. Don't hate the game because it's not fixing any problem by stabbing a football or hating a football, what does fix it is, you know, stemming the uh, cash flow, you know. And, and I mean, that's really what it all comes down to. <clears throat> and in that, I'll segue into my uh, talk on <laughs> Elvis being a salesman. I, you know... I got a sales book in there for reasons that will later become apparent. Realistically speaking, I'm a fucking shit salesman, you know, and I've I have actually been a salesman at one point. Yes, I was only 18, but I was actually a salesman for a yeah, basically a major phone company. Um, and the long and short of it is that uh, I can't do sales with a shit. But anyway, I've got a sales book out of the library and I'm reading a few things um, that because uh, I'm going to need to employ one of these sales people at some point. And it's good just to know the basic run of a few things anyway. Um, and, you know, one of the main things that's said, and, and I had a mate who is no longer a mate, he's a fucking asshole, um, <laughs> who has a brother that's probably worse than Elvis, uh, and the long and short of it is, he told me 
that salesmanship is basically a transfer of enthusiasm. And I flick open this book, you know, written by one of the top guys in England, um, you know, and he said the exact same thing word for word in the first pages, you know, in the first page. <laughs> salesmanship is basically a transfer of enthusiasm. And you look at Elvis, and this is why you have people who donate to him because they're so blinded by his fucking enthusiasm of himself that they actually believe his bullshit. I mean, why the fuck else would you donate to an ass clown like that? Really? Like, like I'm not just talking $1 or $2 just to, you know, keep him excited, but, you know, this is the thing. Like, for people to stand up for him and give him money... You know, it's nothing more than his own enthusiasm for himself, you know, and and he, him selling himself. Because, <laughs> as they say, it's not the sausage, it's the sizzle. And with him, there's no sausage, there's no real product, there's no real content, there's fucking ten minutes a day if you're lucky, you know, of just him fucking bumbling around in the fucking wrecking yard or fucking doing some fucking thing, looking at this or that or something that's just, you know, it's just pathetic. There essentially is no sausage. There is only just a giant sizzle, you know, and this is the thing. Now, in essence, you look at our starved years for money. Now, Tony Abbott, as you know, great Australian troll, makes some uh, good videos and shit. <laughs> and <laughs> how's that calling him and stuff like that? <laughs> but anyway, 50 bucks, he's handed Elvis probably 50 bucks over an entire year and kept himself off the block list. He hasn't been blocked over a lousy, what's the work out, like a dollar a fucking week, you know, maybe a, a couple of dollars a week. But this is the thing, you know. And he's not worried about what Tony Abbott says to him on other channels. And, oh, apparently Tony Abbott is unblocking other trolls, but I'm still cool with you, Tony, so da-da-da-da-da, all this sort of stuff, you know. And it's like... <laughs> he's not even going to check if Tony Abbott's unblocking other trolls. Like, <laughs> you know, as another troll said, we have Elvis wrapped around our little finger because we have found the Achilles heel, or however the fuck you say it, the Achilles heel, something like that, well, we've found what runs the whole fucking show, and it's money, and let's face it, let's face it, if somebody's given money, even if it's only fucking two dollars or five dollars in the last month, they're all cool, it's when they don't get give money for a while that then he sort of, you know, gets a little bit uh, snaky with them and may even start slandering them. You know, and the long and short of it all is that we're nickel and diamond the guy to death here with these fucking $2 donors. I mean, I haven't donated a fucking dollar. I don't have a PayPal account. I'm not fucking getting one. I'm not using my main credit card online. In fact, I have a prepaid reloadable visa that's what I use online actually it's my second one because uh, I had one previously for dating sites but you know <laughs> this guy is like fucking gobsmacked over two bucks here and five bucks there and if he could use that same enthusiasm to sell shitty ass fucking trinkets or whatever at markets on a Saturday and markets on a Sunday. Okay, he might have to piss away his Saturday and his Sunday, but he's got all week and he can still make videos of guys driving to work and say, all these ham and eggers are all rushing to go nowhere, blah, 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 you know, the sort of videos that we've seen previously. You know, and this is the thing, he just has to blow his Saturday and his Sunday and with his enthusiasm, you yeah, look at how... Let's give them a woo over two dollars, you know, and uh, twenty dollars. Oh, this is the thing. 
he gets so enthusiastic about a lousy couple of dollars, you know, as Jeremy Hopper has it, if the guy has any more than 20 bucks, he thinks he's a fucking millionaire, you know. <laughs> we mightn't have said it exactly like that, but if he's got 20 bucks, he's, you know, he's unstoppable, he's enthusiastic, he can slander anyone and everyone and talk shit about how good he is just because he's got $20 in his pocket. Less than that, then he gets a little bit worried. $20 or more, and then he's, he's on top of the world again. <sighs> How hard do you think it would be for a guy with that much enthusiasm to stop talking shit about himself and push the enthusiasm into these products, you know, and, and just get him to just sell these trinkets, you know, and, you know, he doesn't always walk up to people. He isn't often, but older videos... He often used to just fucking talk to people on the street, you know? And there was a time there where there was a woman who was about 19 who was a van dweller. You know, talked to her and showed inside a rig and felt... Yeah, you know, that was the videos people sort of gave a shit about because he does actually have the confidence to approach people without too much of a problem. But you give him a product to sell and tell him, look, Elvis, you do well here today, you'll go over 200 bucks with fucking cut layers effort here. And I reckon he would sell, if you told him he could get 200 bucks, he'd probably sell 800 bucks worth of shit, you know, really seriously. And I'm not saying it's 100% profit, but don't be surprised if he, you know, you'd say, look, you could sell 200 bucks here and you make 150 and he sells 800 and walks away with 600, you know, he's, I think he could do it. Let's face it, it'd fix it up. For him, he wouldn't need an e-bag because he'd have cash. You know, and he'd have five days of the week that he could just fucking frolic around. Or whatever. And if he's making money that, that was that big, he would probably go and skip a couple of weeks there. You know, just like take like a whole 12 days off straight, you know. Go one one weekend, skip the next week, skip the next weekend, and then, you know, all the next week. And, and he could go on a, however long he could drive for 12 days, you know. He could have fun like that. Or he could do the old thing that Coates does, and that's, you know, work all summer and do whatever you want during winter, you know, and stuff like that, which is what he's sort of already doing, but at least this time Rosie wouldn't be fun, at, you know, wouldn't be e-begging, he'd have a job, you know, and there's, as Rosie says to him, there's dignity in a job. I can tell you there's boredom in a job. <laughs> and there is some dignity in a job, you will agree with that. Um, but... This is the thing, you know, it could easily be fixed. And there's always a solution. So many times there's a solution that nobody's thought of that could fix the problem for all parties involved. But the trouble is, you know, that sort of you got to break the mould to get somebody to fucking try something different, you know. And I'd be more than happy to set up a factory here making cheap shit trinkets. And if you don't already know which you probably don't, we've got a free trade agreement, a limited free trade agreement with America that has certain things we've... Uh, we tend to get a lot of American lawnmowers here and uh, also increasing amount of cherries too, somehow. I wonder why. <laughs> we grow cherries here, but oh, there's not many places, let me tell you. And they're nowhere near as big as American ones, really. Um, but... Uh, some things have been blocked. Uh, I think corn is one of them because uh, it'll blow the shit out of their corn market. Um, but anyway, that's just a few little ideas there, you know. And you, and you think like a, the guy is is a couple of basic cheap things, you know, and a short sale spiel, you know. That you could probably think up himself away from. <sighs> you know, making his own money. And, and look, let's face it, all he'd have to do is just fucking, you know, clean up on a fucking Sunday morning and, and make a go of it, you know. Sunday, Saturday, have another shower Saturday night, Sunday, you know. And he could do what he wanted all week, you know, and he'd have money going everywhere. And I think you would actually be fucking stunned at the amount he would make versus anyone else. Because I reckon he could sell the pants off stupid minor things, things as, as straightforward as, as fucking box cutters or whatever. Yeah, 
any little thing, any little cutesy Chinese fucking thing, you know, little fucking, my parents got me this one, but you guys already seen the other, the amber one I've got, little misting fans, you know, in the middle of summer, and you can get those to fuck all off Alibaba, type in misting, misting fan in Alibaba, you'll see that exact one, um, this is the thing, you know, it wouldn't be at all hard for him to sell this shit, you know, and it'll transform his life, and thank God we'll get rid of the e and he'd probably slander the shit out of everyone, but at least then he could do what Coates does, which is show fucking big wads of cash on YouTube, well, not big wads, but some cash on YouTube, you know, and uh, <laughs> he didn't enjoy his life, you know, and as much as I know there'd be people, you know, I already know there's people that want to see him hit the dirt, and, and I, would, uh, I wouldn't say no to a spray can, while he's uh, away from the Lisa Marie himself, but but anyway, you know the fact is that um, none of this needs to happen, and you know everybody would eventually be fairly happy for him, even if he's still a slanderous smartass, because it's better to be a slanderous smartass who's not e-begging than a slanderous smartass who is e-begging, you know, and. Um, and and yet I reckon he would sell the pants off fucking anything. And, I mean, that's the thing. When you look at it, he was actually, you know, those of you who have got his resume, and I've read his resume myself, you know, he could uh, quite easily, you know, sell stuff because he's actually had a job running a, a mobile phone shop before, selling cell phones, you know, and... Um, this is the thing, it's not like he hasn't sold stuff before. But anyway, it's just my little uh, waffle. Um, but it's just ridiculous how he's gone from, you know, I want to unblock everyone to, I couldn't be bothered to unblock. I got all these messages coming through, please unblock me. And I couldn't be bothered to, so make yourself another account. Oh, no worries, Captain Lazy. And now he's back on the threatening to sue business again. Oh, come on. We all know you went to that. We know you're bluffing because you went to that lawyer and it was all fucking bullshit, wasn't it? <laughs> you know, oh, they're putting up these videos illegally. If you don't want stuff like you talking about shitting in Walmart bags being out there on YouTube and uploaded to YouTube, don't upload it to YouTube yourself in the first place. You know what I'm saying? You know, if you don't want pictures of your fucking beer ass with fucking getting cream pied. Don't upload them to fucking Craigslist to begin with. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I mean, you know, I tell you what. He shoots himself in the foot, not with a fucking gun, but with a fucking cruise missile, you know. Holy smoke, you know. It just <laughs> anyway, that's me little uh, waffle for tonight.